Okie dokie. So we are live. I feel like I should like maybe move the chair. Oh, that's better. That's better, peeps. That's better. All right. Let me go on here. I'm going to share this out really quickly. And then we will get started. Hey Marley, hey hon, thank you for joining. I am just sharing this out really quickly. Hey, sweet savage. And I will be trying to like share this as well. Copy link. <laughs> Hey guys, hey, welcome, welcome. So in today's video, we are just going to be playing with this taco palette and I'll be doing a look. I'm thinking of doing maybe like fall inspired, but yet, we'll, we'll say fall. We'll say fall, but also like neutral, natural, like everyday type of look. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm down from my Halloween looks and we'll do it like that. So hopefully there's not a lag, hopefully, but let me know down below if you feel like there's a lag coming. Yes! Don't you love it? I love this top. <laughs> I got it from Target. Target has the best, best tops. This <laughs> Break your diet. Yes, so get to mingling and let me share this real quick and then we will get started. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for all the love and support. I really do appreciate you guys. You are all very, very supportive. Makes this so much better. You know, like, I love you. I love you all. Okay, why well, can't, I'm like, I can't remember how to post a link on Instagram. Come on, Chip, get it together, get it together. Okay, all fun and jazz, that's good. So, let's get to doing a makeup look. So what are you guys doing tonight? I really kind of felt like I wanted to play with makeup. That's really all I wanted to do. Ah, uh, yeah, everything's going well. Thank you, Melinda. But yeah, it's not a great movie. It really is. It really is a fun movie. Okay. Hey, Kaylee. Uh, okay, so I've got my live comments going here, so I will catch them as we move along. Get to chatting. Get to knowing each other in the comments. I love you guys. Oh, I love all you guys. All right. <clears throat> so, Dee Dee, if you haven't spoken with Dee Dee, but she is one of my subscribers, one of my lovely friends here, and she requested that I do a look with the Glam Light palette, but make it more fall, more neutral, natural type of thing. So I'm going to do a less dramatic, but kind of towards the fall colors in this palette. I have already done a review on this palette. Um, oh, starting your work week, fun, fun, fun. Um, so I haven't done a, like, subtle look, I guess you can say, with this palette yet. So I was like, okay, cool. I would love to do that. And here we go. Hey, Melinda. Love, love you guys. Okay, so let me catch up on some comments. Fat Fib Mama, thank you for joining. Hi, Kaylee. Love it, love it. I'm trying hot, Hearts of Palm of Noodles. Are you cooking something? Are you cooking something? What's Hearts of Palms? I'm confused what Hearts of Palms is. Okay, so basically, you guys, let's just do some makeup. Let's just play with some makeup tonight. There's nothing really serious. I just kind of wanted to get here, get on here live and chit-chat with you guys. Just chit-chat. So I'm going to figure out where the camera is because I'm, like, looking at the comments over here. And I'm like, my camera's over here. Okay, so let's set the eyes. I'm just going to use... Oh, my goodness. You're making... Noodles. You're making noodles. Is that Chrissy? Is that Chrissy? Hey, Chrissy. Love you. Ah, you're like the perfect soul. Love you so much. So let's do the Urban Decay primer. And I didn't get tacos today, so I was like, let's play with the taco palette. But I kind of want to have tacos. Okay, you guys, I just need to have a baby because, and I know you're like, Chip, where are you going with this? But I'm just like, all like the family oriented things like Taco Tuesday, Meatball Monday, Fettuccine Friday. Like, I want to do that for my family. Even though Travis is like, you know, you could just do that for me. And I'm like, it doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, yes, Kaylee. Chrissy is like, she's the bomb diggity bomb bomb. The bomb diggity bomb. So, let's just set this all over the eyes. Right? Taco Tuesday for the kids. Like, and I was telling Chrissy the other day on one of her live streams, I was like, Chrissy, I can't wait to be a mom because I am so ready for one, the PTA, and for bake sales. Like, I'm ready to bake. I'm going to be that parent. You guys are going to hate me. I'm going to be that parent that's like, I'm sorry, was that Walmart? Was that Walmart? <laughs> I know. I'm extra. I'm extra. I know. <laughs> the PGA is not. They are not ready for me. Travis isn't ready for me to be on the PGA, honestly. Um, okay, so let's dive into the taco palette. This is by Glamlight. If you guys are just tuning in, love it. And the, yeah, these shades are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Where's the camera? They are super, super pretty. So if you haven't seen this palette in action, like, you guys. <laughs> Kimberly, hey, hon. Um... Yeah, this, this palette is stunning. So, how about I just do some swatches? Just a little bit. Okay, so if you're interested in a specific shade, maybe I should do it like this. If you want a specific shade swatch, let me know. But I'm just going to pick out some of my favorites, and we'll do that. So I'm going to, oh, Mexican Cheese is my absolute favorite shade in this palette. Absolute favorite shade. You guys. I can't even. Like, this This blows my mind every single time. Um, and let's see. Okay. Red Cabbage is cute. Red Cabbage is a good one. It's a good one for, like, if you obsessed. Obsessed with purples. We are ready for Mardi Gras. <laughs> but, yeah, this is a cute shade as well. Purples are really nice on, like, really every skin tone. But I really, really like purples on my skin tone. Fabulous. Um... Let's see, let me look down here. Yes, Kaylee, they are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Okay, let's do Pico de Gallo. Like. Right? Aren't they, like, stunning? Okay, Sweet Savage, remind me of your actual name just really quickly. Because I know you told me during Chrissy and I's live and... I probably forgot it, and I'm so sorry, but just give me, like, a reminder so I can always, like, say your name. Um, the pinks. Okay, so, El Pastor? Tay. Okay, thank you. Tay Savage, Tay Savage, Tay Savage. Okay, I like to, like, say people's actual names when I see their channels, so I'll remember. I will remember. Um, okay, so El Pastor was a pink shade, but it kind of comes off red. Mm reddish pink on me it's not true pink but here it is let me open my computer hey glam kitty hey how are you so yeah so i am mm, i am all about that shade as well now the only shade in this palette and i think i really got a dud was this lime color here and that's just, it's just dry it is the driest shade out of all of these palettes Sore as all get up. Sore? What happened? What happened, Glam Kitty? I hope you're okay. So, like, yeah, it's just patchy. It's dry. But I really think I have a dud because, like, all the other mats in here are fine. So, but then, oh, tattoo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a cute one, though. It was worth it. No pain, no gain. <laughs> what people keep telling me <laughs> um let's do onions and then I'll start the look but onions <laughs> onions look at that look at that so these are all vibrant and really pretty and if you want to see the look I created using like really vibrant shades of this palette just check my other video but um, like I said earlier Dee, Dee requested that I do more of a fall everyday look with this palette so we're just gonna keep the swatches on keep them on the hand and we're going to create, yes, okay, your tattoo was on point, though. I love, love it. I love tattoos in general. Like, I have too many, and I still want more. Still want more. Okay, now we're going to, we're not going to break anything in this live. We're not going to drop anything. 
camera's gonna stay up. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe a halo look because I've been doing a lot of cut creases lately and I think I think a halo would be like better. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to do halo. I want to do halo. Okay, and hello Sandy A7, thanks for joining in. And if I've missed anyone coming in, hello, welcome to my life. Thank you so much for being here. And we're just playing with some makeup. We're just playing with a taco palette and doing a fall inspired slash semi-natural or neutral look. I'm not gonna go all the way like <laughs> neutral. I'm gonna add some color, I have to add color. I can't you guys, I have to. So. I already prepped my eyes with the Urban Decay All Primer, Bad Boy, Everyday Primer. I'm going in with Carnia Asada. Carnia Asada. You guys forgive my pronunciations. I barely made it through Spanish. One. Forgive me. <laughs> so let's do a little bit here. I'm going to pat just to place it where I want. It's nice. I mean, the pigmentation is pretty good for having just like a very plain, yes, Kimberly, <laughs> for having just like a very plain eyeshadow base. The pigmentation is still pretty darn good. And then I'm going to do the same and place it in the inner corner. Now, I've, I don't know, I've kind of had the idea of doing like a reverse halo, so doing kind of the dark on the inside and the light on the outside. What do you guys think? Is that like completely horrible? <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to try it, and if it looks cool, I'll post it. But if it doesn't, no, I tried. <laughs> no, no, a girl tried. Um, so yeah, just going to stamp it. Stamp it. So, who got the orange mirror in the Jeffree Star mystery boxes? I know Kimberly did, and she just did her unboxing. That was amazing. But, oh, that mirror is calling to me, you guys. Calling. Calling me. I need it. I just need it, but I don't need it. I don't need anything. Like, my collection is fine. Glam Kitty, you did too? Oh, man. I just... Out of all of them, that is the one that I, I don't know why I'm so drawn to it. And I have nothing orange in my room to like go with it. Like my room is like white, this blue background and hints of pink because of the two pink mirrors I have. But I don't know why it's calling to me. It's just that color. It is just that color. Right? I don't need it either, Sandy. I don't either, but it's keeping me up at night. <laughs> We'll just say that. I, I'm tossing and turning and I'm like, Chip, just, you don't need it. So I'm connecting the shades here. And because I have a lot of lid space, I just go higher than my natural crease, which is right here. And it'll come together. It'll come. But this is still the same shade. This is Carnia Asada. Which every time I look at this palette, it reminds me of Chipotle. Chipotle. And if you guys want a funny story time, so when I was little, you guys know my real name is Chippo, and so Chipotle is just L-T-E at the end, something like that. Yeah. Um, so when I was growing up, when we moved to this country and, you know, Chipotle was becoming popular, I always thought my mom paid the company to change their name to Chipotle to make me feel accepted. I don't know why, but I'd always thank her for doing that and she'd be like, you're welcome. <laughs> like if you like, yeah, if you see Chipotle, just take off the TLE and it's Chippo. And I, when I was growing up, I was like, mom, thank you. I mean, I was like seven and eight, you know, and she was just like, she never told me it wasn't her until I got older. And I was like, well, you just let me be a fool. Thank you, mother. But it was cute. I liked it. I really liked Chipotle because it. I thought that it was made for me. You know, I was like, they made a restaurant after me? How considerate of them. Girl, <clears throat> talking about name pronunciations, like, I've had 
every name called under the sun. Was it Sheepo? Was very popular when I was in middle school. Sheepo, um, Chipo. I've had Chipo, which I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, Sheepo was the one that really like irritated me because I was like, there's no S in my name, <laughs> right? Yes, Glam Kitty, my mom definitely got some cool points there. Yeah, she definitely got the cool points. But yeah, I was like, why are you calling me a sheep? <laughs> I was like, there's no S. <laughs> so that's actually why I ended up just going by Chip a lot and why I still go by Chip is, it's just, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to just cut off the O, because as soon as I just write, you know, Chip, everyone's like, oh, hey, Chip. Yes, yes, Tay, yes. <laughs> we know the struggle. We know the struggle. Yeah. But then everyone's like, are you ashamed of your name? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm just making people's lives easier. But I'm not ashamed. Not at all. It's just easier to do it this way. Yeah, everyone really, I mean, Chip stuck. Chip stuck. Um, and now, honestly, to be completely honest, when someone calls me Chippo, even though it's my, you know, God-given name, I'm like, what? Like, it sounds weird to my ear because everyone calls me Chip. So when I hear Chippo, I'm just like, that sounds like I should answer. Yes, here. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like I've... Go by Kitty. <laughs> Kathleen, like, yeah. Yeah. But then, so I was, um, I was teaching genetics, so I was teaching junior and senior level college students, and honestly, the names that came through my classroom were really interesting, and there were times where I was like, okay guys, I'm going to spell it because I can't pronounce it, but I'm going to work darn hard to pronounce your name correctly before like the third day of class. Like, I, I took names like really seriously, because I always felt like Students, and especially just like people in general, they appreciate when you call them by their name and not by like, you know, what they're wearing or whatnot. Oh my gosh. I had a teacher that would call me like by what I was wearing because she couldn't say Chippo and it drove me insane. Insane. I was like, I am not identified by the blue sweater I am wearing. Like I was <laughs> insane. Okay, so basically here, I'm just building up this brown color because I really want it to pop against all the other shades. But I really like that it's a building and then when you blend it out, it kind of turns into like this soft mauve color. Like, it's pretty. It feels pretty. And I've been really getting into going kind of close to my brows lately. I don't, I don't know what that's about, but I used to never, never put eyeshadow that close to my brows. Glam Kitty, yes, my fourth grade teacher called me Kathy. I hated it. Right? It's like, please. <laughs> okay, let me catch up on some comments. Hey, Wendy, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you for coming in. You guys, thank you so much. And, oh, Marlo. Hey, hi, I can see you pop in. Hey, welcome, welcome. Oh, you guys are making me feel so loved. Like, I really was like, I'm just going to go on live and, you <laughs> know. So thank you all for just, Dropping in, getting to know each other, share the love, you guys. Um, okay, I'm looking for a more of a fluffy brush, and I want to go in with Poyo, which I know means chicken. I think. I think. And we're going to buff out Kanye Asada right here. Hey, well, congratulations on your new job. That is a fantastic celebration moment. Congratulations, and thank you for stopping by. Okay, so when you guys go live, like, do your comments just disappear and then they come up? You're right, Poyo's, yes. Thank you, Kimberly. Um, do your comments just, like, disappear? Because, thank goodness I have my phone, because I'm like, wait a minute, where shall I go? 
Where did y'all go? Okay, so yeah, I'm just using Poyo and I'm really just buffing it out, buffing out the outer edges of this shade. Hey, Des, thank you for coming. Appreciate you. So yeah, guys, we're just playing with makeup. Nothing, nothing, nothing too serious. We're chit-chatting, we're playing with makeup, and we're going to do a requested look by one of my friends and subscribers. Her name is Dee Dee, and she wanted me to dip back into the taco palette to create like a fall type of look. So here we are. Here we are. And if anyone else has requests on maybe a palette that I have or a certain look you want me to do, let me know because I'm really wanting to do more lives and this is just a fun way for me to get into doing lives and just like sitting and chit-chatting with you guys. You know I'm not about to go live. No one wants to see my mug with no makeup. Go on, girl! Yes, I would watch you. I would watch. I actually, I don't know. I, have, I really like lives just for like... Not only are you, you know, you're watching someone do something in real time, but you get to kind of, you know, you're talking to them. So it's not so awkward as in you're just watching a video, you leave a comment. You actually can interact with them throughout the whole thing, which I love. Love, love, love. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Yes, come through, you guys. I was going to bring Emma on here, but she a little crazy right now. She's a lot crazy right now, let's not even put that lightly. Okay, so with that laid down, let's go ahead and do the cut. Now, I don't know if you guys already know, but Morphe is now selling P. Louise in store and online. So you don't have to wait for like that overseas shipping, which I loved, and I couldn't wait to go you know, in store, so I got it online. But anywho, long story short, I got the black and the white light or base um so we're gonna try the black one i've been using the white one for some time and i love it it is the best base i've used thus far thus far i still need to use the abh um eyeshadow base because i've heard nothing but good things about that but for right now the p louise is what i am loving uh thank you fab fit mom i really appreciate you um and yeah, I really do. I mean, Wendy, the <laughs> Morphe's, I think, shipping was like $5 or something. It was intense, but it was cheaper than overseas shipping. So I was like, okay, okay. You got me this time. This time I'll do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you don't have a Morphe by you, then they are now selling it online, which is great. But I have been obsessed with this. And so I think like I'm going to use a black tonight just so I can get some use out of this one because I have not been using this as much as the white. But if you guys are using this, let me know what you guys think. Tay, the ABH base is amazing. Oh, okay, cool. I, I, just need to, I just need to go in store and try it. Go in store and try it. So I'm going to put the base maybe like right here. So these are swatches that we did of the taco palette. Just some shades. I just picked some random shades. Um, but yeah, let me just put some base down on my arm hairs. <laughs> because I took up all of my hand. Now the one thing I do have to say with using these. And this is what Anya Stamper told me. And I completely agree with her. Is you have to use a decent amount. I've tried using like a thin layer. And it just wasn't enough, like, blank space for a color. So I, I pack it on a little bit. I do. I do. But I'm interested to, to use this black. I am. Because we're going to use one of maybe Mexican cheese or pico de gallo on the inner. So we'll see how that sits. Like, look at that. <laughs> she, she is dark. <laughs> so with this, I'm just going to pack some on my lid. And then I'm going to look up, and that should help me create, like, where my cut should end. But for this look, I'm just going to go a little bit higher. So please keep chatting. I am going to try my best to come back into the comments when I am done with this cut. But yeah, basically, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add this black to the center of this halo.
And what we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna hope that our eyes come out looking the same. Or at least looking like they're, you know, related. Or distant cousins. We want them on the same family tree, basically. But we'll see. We will see. Because it never fails. Halo Eyes and I, we struggle. We do struggle. We're not always on the same page as like a cut crease. Cut creases and I, we're, we're, we're besties. But halos, even though a halo is still like a version of a cut crease, we're, um, we're still trying to figure out our friendship. <laughs> but yeah. So Tennessee has a Morphe store. That's cool. I have some family in Tennessee, Kimberly. Next time I'm there, I'm definitely going to text you and be like, hey girl, I'm in town. Let's do something. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna we're just gonna stop. <laughs> we're gonna stop there and let's do the other eye because if I don't stop, I'm just going to create a cut crease because that's what I do. Anything any look that fails, I just create a cut crease. like the black is okay it's not like right now it's not my favorite just because I can't really see entirely where I'm going with it you know like the white I can kind of foresee okay this is going great but the black right now I'm kind of on the fence have you guys tried their like pastel ones their pastel bases I love that you guys are, like, going on the Morphe stores. That's great. Alrighty. But like I was saying earlier, I do want to get into doing more live videos. And really just having it as a time where I'm just playing with makeup. Not anything review. Not anything, you know, very serious. Just a time to hang out when, you know, I have really nothing to do, but I want to spend time with you guys. So if you do like this live, please let me know. Lay, do more lives. Ah, uh, thank you. I will, Layla. I will. But yeah, let me know how you guys are feeling about it. I mean, honestly, at this time, I would be up anyways at playing with makeup. So I'm like, why not just like spend some time with you guys anyways? Um, because that's what I'll be doing regardless. Okay. So that's down. Now, what I want to do is add the, I don't know. Okay, so should I do the, this is Mexican cheese, and this is pico de gallo. I'm leaning towards Mexican cheese, but maybe pico de gallo for like a fall time look. Okay, what do you guys think? I'm thinking this one. Hey Sherry, thank you so much for coming by. And if I've missed anyone, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming by. Okay, so Sandy is saying Mexican cheese right here. Oh, Kimberly, thank you. Thank you. You guys are so supportive. Thank you so so much. I really do I really, really, really do appreciate it. Like you guys have no idea. Like this, this means a lot. Um, queso. Okay, we got Mexican cheese here. All right, I, let's do Mexican cheese. We'll do Mexican cheese. I am using, to put it on, I'm going to use the Sephora. This is the number 15 eyeshadow brush. Because I want to, oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, pigmentation. I want to see how it sat under black. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you guys were doing. Yeah, so Mexican cheese kind of works better with, like, the brown shade that I put down. I see you guys now. I see you. These names. I know, Chrissy. <laughs> There's one called radish. There's guacamole. Pickled carrots. Gross. <laughs> like, the shade is pretty, but I can't do pickles. I can't. And for all of you lovely, lovely people that are waiting for the pickle video because 
you guys put that in Travis's head that he should give me pickles. And he got so excited that he went out and bought pickles. So, if you guys are ready for that, that video is coming up this week. We are filming it tomorrow. And all I have to do is edit it and I will post it as soon as possible. But just know I'm not ready. I am not ready to eat pickles. <laughs> Not ready. Thank you, Marlo. Thank you. No, I do not want pickles. <laughs> but during our, and this, I think this was, yeah, this was the video that we did. It was a snack video switch with um, Kaylee Wesley and her husband, Jeff. And they gave me pickle chips, which they were like dill pickle chips. I loved them. I really did. They were so good. And I think I liked them because... Eat pickles, they're good. Chrissy, Chrissy, stop lying. Stop lying, Chrissy. <laughs> stop lying. <laughs> I, I, I need some documented research to tell me pickles are good for me. Um, um, but I really like the dill pickle chips, but I think it's because they were more vinegary. That's what I think I like about them. And that's what my friend Delaney, that's what she was telling me, is that, well, they taste more vinegary. And I was like, well, I do love salt and vinegar chips. Oh, oh, I'm not ready. They are good for your digestive tract. Oh. <laughs> I just, I don't know about, yeah, because yeah, they're going to clean me out when it comes back up. You guys, like Travis is ready, ready for this video. And I'm just kind of like, your health, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, uh. Like, I already eat an apple a day to keep the doctor away. Why? He never said nothing about pickles. Nothing. He said apple. <laughs> oh, pickle juice. You guys. Oh, you're some strong people out there. I'm going to leave all the pickles for you. You will never have to worry about me eating any of your pickles. I'll be the perfect guest house. Or guest visit. Guest visit? Guest I would never eat your pickles in your fridge. So if you're worried about your pickles going, know that it would never happen with me. I love that I'm just talking about pickles. Like, <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm just adding the gold, which is really, it really is. It's like a yellowy gold shade. And it works well with this brush. Now, you could definitely use your finger or even wet it to make it more of a metallic-y finish. But my nails are so long that like using my finger, I get really scared to jab my eye out. So I just don't. <laughs> I try to avoid that as much as possible. And I'm gonna go back in with Kanye Asada and I'm just wanting to make sure that I deepen up the outer corners. Again. I do, I do, I have the pink chrome and that's the only one I have. And I'm telling myself that's the only one I need. I do not need the orange one or the white one or the blue chrome or the whole set. I don't. <laughs> thank you, Marlo, thank you. This was actually a closet uh, when we first moved in this house. And my husband Travis, he knocked off, knocked off the um, like the interior, and then he built like a little nook, so I can kind of sit there. And then I have little curtains that I can draw if I want to be like alone, <laughs> you know, feeling in my moods. Thank you. Hope you have a wonderful week as well. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad you guys are just having fun, chilling in the comments. Like, that's, that's beautiful. That is beautiful to see. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay. So here we are. It's coming 
it's coming. Now, it's, it looks a little crazy right now, but trust me, once we get everything put together, it's going to look just fine. Just, just fine. Um, so at this point, what I'm going to do is my face, and I kind of wanted to try out, ooh, almost dropped something. I kind of wanted to try out some products that I got in a BoxyCharm, so we'll do that as well. Thank you, Sandy. I got these pillows from Walmart. Go figure. Like, super cute. So I'm using this Touch and Soul. So this is the Glassy Face Primer. I got this in the most recent BoxyCharm. And I actually, I'm not, oh, I forgot I even, I had eyeshadow on my finger and everything. Like, okay. Forgot I was doing swatches. Um, yeah, actually, I like it. I'm not mad at it. It's a really nice texture. It's like a face priming. It says it's a skin balm. So in the description, it said that this was a pretty filter glassy skin balm face primer um, is what it said in the description. So, I mean, it does have the texture and consistency of a moisturizer, but I'm loving it. Whatever it is, I'm loving it. And I sometimes, I don't know, I don't, I don't really like most skincare type of items because they break me out. But this one has been sitting really well on my skin. Layla, it's your favorite box. Yeah, I'm trying it out. Um, and like I said in that video, like I'm gonna give this till December and and we'll see. We'll, we will just see how I like it. Um, because I'm so skeptical with these beauty boxes only because of what you could potentially get that won't work with my skin tone. So, so far, so good. Like this box, almost everything in here, I was like, I shouldn't say almost, everything in here, I was really, really impressed with. I really, really liked it. Yes, I'm using that sponge too. Yeah, I'm gonna use it in this video as well. But like, it leaves such a dewy finish on my skin. Like, <laughs> I love it. I really, really love it. And let's go ahead. Yep, we're talking about the sponge. So here's the sponge. This was the Illuminati sponge, which I love the name. Some people were like, what? And I was like, that's just so cute. <laughs> so here it is. And I like that it's black. Like, honestly, I do. Now, I haven't used it yet. This is the first time I'm using this sponge. So we will see how the, my foundation and products sit with it. But... Yeah, I am really liking that it is a black color, and usually I would get the black color from Beauty Blender, but that's like a $20 sponge, um, so I've been just chilling it with Real Techniques lately, and the foundation I'm going in with is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Face Tape, and I'm in the shade Rich Sand, which is not my current shade right now, but I need to use it up, and I... Yeah, I just need to use it up. I can't keep buying foundations by the hype. So I made a deal with myself that whatever foundation I have, I need to finish it before I buy another foundation. And it's been working so far. I just I just don't take a lot of pictures sometimes. <laughs> um, because I'm like, that's, yeah, the foundation isn't sitting well, honey. Not sitting well. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that feels nice. Yes, Layla. <laughs> Your reaction was priceless. <laughs> she was like, I need to go check on something real quick. <laughs> it was so funny. Okay. This is sitting really, really nice. Ooh. Like, I really like the feel of this. And you see, it's not that bad. Like, it's really not that bad compared to the pink showing my chocolate foundation, which I like. I like. It doesn't look as dirty. Now, I decided to glue down my wig before this video started, which I was like, I'm going to try because usually I do the, my wig last. So I, I don't know. I wanted to try it on first because 
I was talking to Chrissy during our live and she was saying she likes doing it this way. And I was like, oh, I'll try it. But the great thing with this, like if I'm wearing a shirt, you can't tell that the foundation isn't my skin color, like my chest color. So it works. It works really well. What time zone are you in again? So I'm in central time. I am central time. So does this time like work generally with everyone here? Because I'm feeling like you guys are, you're responding well to the time that I picked. And I was really hoping because I was like, okay, I, I know I'll catch the later time zones better than like, you know, the earlier ones. I'm just looking at some comments here. Yes, yeah, Sherry, the black sponge is amazing. I'm loving, I'm loving this. Like, I don't want to stop. <laughs> oh, cool, Sandy. Okay, cool. You're central as well. Wonderful. And hey, Travis, if you're watching this live, which I don't know if you are, would you mind turning on the AC? <laughs> I'm hot. I am hot, hot. Which I have no idea if you are watching because you're probably already asleep. My poor hubby has to work at like 3 a.m. And so I'm sure he's already asleep. Yeah, Kaylee, I, uh, I, I think he would have responded already if he was up. So he's probably already asleep. So I'm just going to quickly turn on my AC. Because, and like, and stop patting <laughs> this foundation. Did he comment? I wonder if he's on here. I don't know. But I will let him know that everyone is saying hello to Travis. Hey, Caitlin. Welcome. Welcome. Yes, taco palette moment. We're doing like an everyday fallish inspired look. Basically, I'm trying to stay away from my very bright, bold colors. I'm trying. Today is the day when we will see Chip calm down. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I wish it was cold here. Like, as far as inside my house, my house needs to be 70 to 71 constantly. Like, that is a good temperature for me. Um, <laughs> yes, Chrissy. It's a hard battle. I mean, it takes a lot of me not to put on baby blue lipstick every day. It takes a lot for me to just put it down and walk away. Usually, Travis has to take it out of my hand. <laughs> So then for concealer, let me do the Tarte Shape Tape. This is my ride or die. I absolutely love it. I am running low and I need more. I haven't found a concealer yet that works as well as this one. So, hmm. <laughs> and as I'm laughing, I'm messing up on my mind putting my concealer. Me and my husband, like, 40, yes. There was one time I dared to go under 70. Yeah, I got a lecture. <laughs> I got a lecture. Do, you, do your husbands give you lectures as well? And you're just like, yes, honey. I understand, honey. <laughs> I'll bake cookies, honey. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got that. The Jeffree Star Concealer, that I haven't tried. But I have heard good things. I have heard good things. Like, this sponge, you guys? This is about to change my sponge world. I am getting sponginated. You guys know what I mean. I, I am loving the heck out of this sponge right now. Wow. This is so, so good. I will definitely have to try the JS Concealer. There are a lot of things that I that are releasing that I want to try. And I'm just like, I need to finish what I have. And I think that's one downfall with just trying to stay updated with the beauty community is that I'm just like, I don't have the funds. <laughs> but keep going. You're doing great. Everyone's doing wonderful. I love everything you're coming from a picture perspective. I will go swatch you in store all day. But... Yeah. I'm just like, can, can, can we wait till I'm an astronaut or a millionaire or 
an astronaut millionaire <laughs> and then I'll go buy everything you guys are perch or releasing because I will. <laughs> okay, so Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder. I can't keep up either. I really can't. So I'm just like, keep going. You guys are doing great. You're doing great. But I will probably be the, be the late on the bandwagon type of consumer. All right, so let's set everything. I started setting my concealer with a wet sponge. And I actually got this, or I learned this trick from watching Jeffree Star, one of his um, makeup videos. He was just, you know, doing a little tip on one of his videos. And I was like, huh, let me, let me go, let me go try that. Let me go try that. And it was, <laughs> change my world. <laughs> change my world. It's four quarter. I'm missing something. I'm definitely missing something. Um, something about four quarter. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I love, I love makeup releases because I love to see what people are like designing, what people are, you know, coming out with. <coughs> I definitely ate that. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, that tastes horrible. <laughs> PSA moment. <laughs> Don't eat setting powder. <laughs> uh. But yeah. Honestly, I do love. And I like watching hauls. Hon spend your money the way you want to spend your money. If you want to spend your money on makeup and you want to do haul videos, thank you. I will watch them because I really enjoy seeing what's new and I like to see people's opinions on stuff and that just really helps me purchase to be honest when I'm ready because I'm like oh yeah I saw that video and it was really cool. Yeah. Okay so going in. Oh, These brushes are so cute. So these are the Real Technique kind of glitter handle brushes and I actually got these for my wedding day. So these were my wedding day brushes and yeah. They're so cute, so they will never be tossed. So cute. I don't know, I've tried to bake, and it just, everything just doesn't go right when I bake. So I just don't bake anymore. Yes, yeah, Sandy, like, so adorable. Y'all, I mean, the Brussels, they, they're gonna get dirty, but they're so soft that I'm just like, I don't even care. Get dirty, I don't even care. Um, so I was actually sent this liner and this is by Call Me Unshakable. This is a high pigment waterproof liquid eyeliner and I was just going to try it out today and I was like why not try it live and see and see. So, huh, what else does it say about this? So it says, this is a cruelty-free, waterproof, liquid eyeliner, non-toxic formula, all-day wear, gel felt tip with high pigmentation. That sounds interesting. You guys, I'm obsessed with the Kat Von D liner in Trooper. I've been using that for years, four years. So, reading it, reading a comment, which I think I'm behind. I'm so sorry guys I'm so sorry yes oh uh, all makeup coming out it's fourth quarter and a lot of brands are doing standalones inside their brands yeah that's true that is true okay so we are here and let's go let's see what this liner is all about so here is the felt I love my blue background you guys can just see it that's great. So here's the felt tip. Let's do a little swatcheroo. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 pigmented. Um I used two chip, but Trooper got dethroned. Gasp. Oh, ooh, dethroned. What a good word to use. Okay, so I'm gonna do a wing liner because I feel like this look needs a wing. So we'll start there. Oh, 
honestly, the pigmentation isn't bad at all. Isn't bad. So, this is definitely just my first impression. Okay, I said I wouldn't do drastic colors, but my wing's gonna be a little bold. I hope you're okay with that. I just need something. I need something bold. Off to bed, Chip. Oh, thank you, Tay. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest and a great rest of your week. I will chat with you soon. <laughs> I'm like, why is my hand still moving? <laughs> Someone likes the Fenty liner. Sandy likes Fenty. Okay, let me just do this liner real quick. Because... I'm feeling it. I am feeling her. Okay. Not too shabby. You guys, not... Not too bad. What do you guys think? Like... Hmm. She's black. I got you. But yeah, she's like, I like it. The pigmentation is pretty good. And as far as like the way it glided on, not bad. It didn't pull my eyes at all. Okay, so this is just first impression. We're just trying it on to see what it will do. And I will keep using it and I can come back and give you like a full review. But first impression. Let's try and make this side the same. never fails. My liners never look the same, but we're just going to keep going. Because honestly, I can just take pictures on this side of my face. <laughs> and if I was going out, I would just keep people on this side of my body because it's the better wing. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just work with what we had. Okay. And right now I am currently decorating my house for Halloween. And I'm trying not to scare myself <laughs> with my decorations because, you know, at night we'll turn off the lights. And then if I need water, I'm like, I have to tell myself, okay, Chip, you put that ghost and that skeleton there, it's okay. <laughs> but once, like, the zombie gets put up, I'm definitely going to have to ask Travis to get me my waters because be like, I know I put you there, right? Right? Okay. I mean, as far as liner, I'm not hating it. I'm not, I mean, I'm hating the shape I just created. Like, that is not the same size. But <laughs> it's still pretty nice. And then, you know, the meme about the liner that just keeps getting thicker and thicker and thicker till it's just black on your eyes? That's me. That's me if I am left alone to perfect eyeliner. I, it just, it just goes somewhere else it's not supposed to. <laughs> um, so that is nice. I like that liner. I like the color. So we'll see if it replaces my Kat Von D, but I'm not sure yet. Um, so this is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. So far, this has been my favorite mascara to use, and this is my second refill on this, which I, I'm loving. I am absolutely loving. I still am blown away about that black sponge, you guys. That black. Hey, Queen of Hearts, thank you for coming in. Thank you all. Thank you for liking. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I really hope you guys are having fun just hanging out with me tonight. 
And if you want me to use a certain palette, just drop it in the comments. And I would love to go live with another palette with you guys. Like, just, just playing. Just playing while I make up. Excuse me. Too much lacrosse. Lacrosse. Yes, please. Feedback is always, always welcome. Okay. Like, I just love, oh, now you can't really tell with the liner on there, but I do love this mascara so much. So, also, another idea that I've been working on and tussling around, and please let me know, is kind of like an arts and craft. So, you know, DIY, I've been doing a lot of DIY just to pass time, and I'm like, why am I not doing this on YouTube with, you know, with my community, with my friends? So, please let me know if you want to see some things I've been doing. I finally, finally got down the steps on how to make, like, your own glitter tumbler cup, which I love. <laughs> so, I was thinking of doing that as a live and just walking through the steps um, of just doing doing some projects. And nothing, like, no, again, nothing serious, because I feel like a live video, you guys are just here to chill. So, yeah, yeah, okay. It's not bright and, like, neon, but it's every day, and it's fall, and I like it. I like it. Thank you, Dee Dee, for helping me step out of my comfort zone. I know you guys are like, Chip, this is out of your comfort zone? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. I... I don't know why, but I really love those bright, bright colors, but I need to I need to come into this zone a little bit more. Okay, so for blush, I'm jumping into my ABH Trio. This is my Berry Trio, and I have not tried the Lady Gaga. Ask Kimberly, because Kimberly um, got some products from the Lady Gaga collection that I know of, um, but... This has been my absolute favorite blush. Absolute favorite. And really, it's this shade right here, which is Velvet. Perfect. My skin just loves, loves this color. So perfect. I can't put it down. <laughs> I cannot put it down. But yeah, I've been obsessed, obsessing with this. Okay, neighbor dog, I hear you. I hear you. Your, your, your person came. And then for liner, I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Lucky. So Ulta was having like their 21 day of beauty and these were half off. And I was like, why not? Why not pick one up? So I'm just going to line my waterline with this. And here we are. It's just like a really nice brown bronzy liner. And it just, uh, I don't know, I really like the Glide-Ons. They're just so buttery smooth. But who is it? ColourPop. ColourPop also has really nice liners, you guys. They're gel creams. Blown. Blown away. Just utterly gorgeous. Um, for highlight, let's go in. Thank you, Queen of Hearts. Appreciate it. Yes, yeah, the Jeffree Star uh, pink chrome one. So yeah, I got this because I just couldn't, I couldn't take it anymore. I was like, I need it. <laughs> um, so for highlight, we'll do the Jeffree Star. This is the Skin Frost and this is in Dark Horse. This is probably one of my favorite highlighters, just all time favorite it never fails goes with any look and I just again I can't put it down I can't put it down and a brush I've been trying to use lately is the Sephora featherweight blending number 93 so this kind of shape for highlighting I'm not sure about it it kind of like you know feathers out the highlight and sometimes I want it like really precise but it does give more of a natural blend so I can see the pros and cons to using it. Like, 
Like, it's not as, like, concentrated, but it's more blended. I don't know. I, I feel like they, these makeup companies, they know what they're doing. Why, why am I questioning? Like, it's doing exactly what it says. Blend. <laughs> it is blending the highlights. So, yeah. But this has just been my favorite, favorite, favorite highlight. What are you guys using so far as far as, far as a highlight? What's your favorite? Like, you could not go without in your collection. Like, if someone was going to be like, I'm going to take all your highlights and you can keep one. Which one would it be? This one would be mine. Oh, yeah, Wendy. That was the ABH one, right? Like, it just, it blends. It blends it all out. <laughs> and it's so pretty. So I don't know why I'm like... Still mentally struggling with this brush. Like, I don't know. Michigan Ice. Oh, okay. I have not tried that one. And then I just go back in with my blush brush. Or if I had my, like, uh, stippled loose brush. It's just a stippling brush. I'll just go over the highlight and the blush. And this just helps, like, blend everything together. Mine is the ABH Am 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 Z <laughs> Makeup Geek Starlight. Hmm, I have not tried the Makeup Geek Starlight. I actually only have one Makeup Geek item, and that is a palette, and that was the MUA collab palette. I need to use that. I need to use that palette again, um, because I have it, and it's just sitting in there, sitting in there. Okay, so that's done, and we're just. We're just chilling, right? So let's put lashes on because we've got time. So this is the uh, Bombshell Cosmetics Lashes. And this is in the shade Burger, which... So this is a Puerto Rican brand. So I'm thinking, is this like a burger to them? Because, you know, here in the U.S., we would think this to be a taco, but these are definitely burger lashes. So I think it's just like, you know... Food translate name translations are different, but these are very dramatic. Well, that failed. <laughs> these are very dramatic lashes, and I love them. Um, that was that was fun. That was fine, but it's okay because if you're done with this look at this point, then you just add lipstick and you're good. But you know me, I just need some lashes, and then I'll be fine. <laughs> just some lashes. <laughs> And I'll be okay. And it's so funny. I went and got lash extensions. And. <laughs> oh, yes, Glam Kitty. That is the best way. Like, find a. Sh oh, yes. You find a shade in a palette that can have dual purposes of an eyeshadow and a highlight. Score. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sherry. These are these are pretty, pretty big. But I've, I've done the lash extensions, and I missed lashes. I, I really did. I missed them so much, I was like, I don't, I don't want to do lash extensions anymore. Because they just weren't as big and bold as I wanted them to be, you know? You know? So I was like, let me, let me just stop this. Let me stop paying this, because I'm not happy. <laughs> and let me buy some lashes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Travis always says, like, when I wear these, I blink and he feels like he's getting hit by wind. And I'm like, you're so dramatic. I love you. Oh, Layla. The kiddos are in bed. I bet you, if I go into the bedroom right now, Emma and Prince are sleeping on my side of the bed. Like, they always feel if we don't go to bed together, then my side becomes their side. And then it takes forever to get them off. And Emma, she's big. She'll go like dead weight. And I'm like, oh, it's like lifting. It's like deadlifting a full bulldog. She's, or a pit. She's heavy. All right. She's like so, so heavy. So yeah, so here's the lash. Pretty, 
pretty dramatic. Glam time, yes. Yes, we are here to glam. Yes. And in the words of Chrissy, we are glam fam. <laughs> I still feel like that's a great hashtag for you, Chrissy. Like, I love it. It just fits you so well. I need to come up with a hashtag, but I'm like, chip. <laughs> hashtag chip. <laughs> I'm just not creative with hashtags. I can't. I can't. I'm like, hashtag generator, help me out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, and I'm using the Duo Glue. This is the green print. And it goes on kind of white bluish. And then it will turn a darker blue. Well, a relatively darker blue when it's ready to go. But it's a quick drying lash glue. And I really, really like it. Hashtag chip for the... Of the glitter block. <laughs> I do love my glitters. <laughs> yes, Graham Giddy. Travis was like, hashtag chip off the old block. And I was like, how old are you? <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Chip off the glitter block. I do love glitter. I, I love a lot of glitter. A lot of glitter. Like, you guys just wait till Christmas time. Ooh, them glitter looks are coming. Okay. I do have to say my nails are amazing to apply lashes. It's like my own lash applicator. Who needs tweezers? Who needs them? Not me, because I've got built-in tweezers. <laughs> and they said I would never get anything done with these nails. Ha! Ha to ha to ha. Okay, so here we are with this done so far, and all we have left, you guys, is lipsticks. So I pulled out four lipsticks because I, I want to give you guys some options with this look, and also I, I wasn't really sure where this look was going in the beginning, so I grabbed quite a few. But actually, before that, we need to set our face, like our full face. So I'm going to do the MAC Studio Fix by MAC, and this is in NW45. This, I got this when, well, MAC has always been a thing, but I felt like a lot of people were recommending MAC products, and I was like, I've never tried anything but their lipsticks, so I picked this up, and it's it's okay. Like, it's not horrible. It's good. Um, I really like using this when my foundation is, like, just too dark, because I feel like this lightens it up a decent amount. Um, it goes really well with this foundation so anytime I'm wearing a top <laughs> to cover my neck and my chest then I'll go in with this powder as well like I am determined I don't care if it does not match my skin tone I will use up a product especially foundation because it is not cheap and so I'm like thank you thank you Sherry I'm like uh-uh I bought you when you matched me and I will wear you Till the end. <laughs> Till the end of days. Okay, so that feels better because I was like, something don't feel right on my face. So yeah, we just said everything. Alrighty, so if you just chimed in, thank you for stopping by. We are just doing a fall inspired look using the Viva Glam Taco or Viva Glam, <laughs> the Glam Light Viva Taco palette. Um, and yeah, we're just having some fun with makeup. So. And again, drop down a palette that you want me to use in my next live. Just name one and we'll see if I have what, if I have it or something similar to it. And then we can have that set for the next live. So before we leave today, we're going to pick our next palette. And you can either ask and request for a look. So like Dee Dee requested the palette and the fall time look. So you can just tell me the palette or you can tell me palette and look. Next look, can you do a dark fight glam look? Dark fight. What do you mean by 
Oh, like a goth? Okay, a goth look. I actually, ooh, I've never done a goth look. And no, I don't have the Jeffree Star Morphe palette, um, or the collaboration. Um, let's see. Okay, so we've got the idea. So the idea is a goth look, which I'm super excited because whew, when I was in middle school, I tried to join the goth club and they rejected me because they said I was too happy and I wore too much pink. <laughs> so I was like, one day I'll be back. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's fun. Okay, so we're going to do a goth look, but we need a palette. Um, I, I want to... Oh, Blue Blood or Jawbreaker? I think that's too light for goth. So let's think of like a darkish type of palette that could go with goth. Like the Alien palette? Are you guys bored of seeing the Jeffree Star Alien palette? Um, Sherry, I will definitely jump into the Jawbreaker after the goth look. So we can do like a goth and then we can do like a pixie fairy look or something. Because <laughs> that palette is very pastel for me. Um, okay, so here are the lipsticks I picked. Okay, I don't have the Satan Center, but I do have Kat Von D, like her, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you my collection in a second. Um, so here's some four lippies. Ooh, a goth pastel. Bam, done it. Okay, hi, Strawberry. Thank you for coming by. Really appreciate you. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So, Sherry, I am going to use the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, and then Glam Kitty, I'm going to make it a goth pastel look. Everyone say yay. Everyone give me some hand emojis. We got our next live idea, and <laughs> we're going to we're gonna goth pastel with Jeffree Star Jawbreaker. Good job, you guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's beautiful. Back to the lip choices. <laughs> um, so I got my Fenty. This is called Single. So this is... Yes. Okay, so this is the Single Shade. Okay. Now, with these lipsticks, I'm obsessed with them, but I'm not obsessed with the price and the amount. These are like 18 or something dollars, and you get so little. Like, I can't, I can't bear, like, there's so little. So I don't use these a lot because I'm like, you're too expensive to be gone in a month. <laughs> All right, so here's the next shade, and this is called PMS. All right? So we have single and PMS. Yes. Like, I just can't. I can't. Oh, it makes me nervous <laughs> when I use them now because I'm like, how much do I got left? <laughs> okay, so the next shade here, this is called Freckle Fiesta. Wait, what? Yep, Freckle Fiesta. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty. We'll definitely be trying on. So basically, I pulled out some fall-inspired lipsticks, and we're going to see which ones really go with this look. And I know this one is not going to go with it, so we're probably not going to put this on because you too orange. <laughs> but yeah, I also picked an orange one, and that, <laughs> that well, Fiesta keeps it on your theme. That's true, it does, but is it the right color? Okay, so this one was saucy. Yeah, we're not even going to try Saucy. That one is too orange. Too orange. Okay. So, out of these for this look, I'm thinking these two, right? So, I've got Single and PMS. So, what I'll do is I'm going to do, um, let's do an ombre. So, I'll do PMS on the outer perimeter, and then we'll add some Single on the inner and we'll set the face and call it a day. Um, and we already have our look for our next live. So that is fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Where is my... Okay, so this was PMS. Now the way I... PMS plus... <laughs> story of my life. Strawberry, you're adorable. I love it. I love it. Now if they have PMS and chocolate, story of my life. <laughs> Those lashes scream Halloween, right? So I was using the Bombshell Cosmetica in Burger Lashes. And they're just 
they're large and in charge. I've been saying that a lot lately and I don't, <laughs> I just love the way it sounds for some reason. Okay, so let's do a PMS on the outer. And if you're just joining in to this live stream, thank you so much for stopping by and just hanging out with me. I really appreciate any feedback and I love that we're just like chatting, just chilling. It's great. It's a great, great time. Okay, let's. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, it's such a pretty color. And it goes so well with this brown shade that we put on. Like, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you what this would look like alone. Okay, right? I can do this. I can do a natural everyday look. I can. I just, I don't know why I gravitate towards color the way I do, but I can. I can do this. I look okay. You look fine, Chip. <laughs> so yeah, so isn't this a really pretty color? Okay, so again, this is PMS by Fenty. This is the matte lipsticks. So this was the second shade that we swatched right here. And alone, it looks great. It works great with this look. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, Kaylee, I'm just like, oh, it's okay. I can do this. I can do neutral looks. I don't have to be bold and like that all the time living the dream thank you so much hello welcome welcome okay so pms alone fantastic stunning so let's add single to the center for an ombre look now what i'm going to do because i don't want too much of the brown mix i'm just going to take off a little bit of pms on my lips Just a tad. Looks like I didn't take any, but I took off some. <laughs> and then add Literally guys, this is how I do ombres. That's really all I do. If you have a lip brush, you just do like a little blending on the corners. But I always feel like your lips, just pushing them together, makes this a perfect blend on its own. So I don't really go in with a brush, but a brush is a very good tool as well. Ombre. <laughs> Ombre done. Um, but yeah. This is the ombre look. So this is with PMS and then single. Love your technique. Thank you. Yep. That's my technique. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is at PMS on the outer and the PMS. Yes, PMS on the outer and single on the inner lips. So this would be the ombre option. So you guys let me know which option you like. Do you like PMS just alone or do you like the ombre? I feel like the ombre just adds something else to the look, you know? Like it's not just flat, especially with my skin tone. It's just, it's not just like flat brown. So that's a plus. And oh, these lashes. <laughs> these lashes are good. <laughs> they're good. They're, they're rescuing me, my inner lash needs. <laughs> um, I did also pick up a new wig recently. I got this and I didn't have time to do like a video for you guys but I got this for our vacation that we just went to. We just came back from New Orleans and I wanted something that was kind of like long, fun. When it hits the sun this is like a really pretty red color. But yeah. Anywho's. 
<laughs> I didn't have time to make a wig it or dig it video. Um, but I just wanted to like share with you guys. You will be seeing this in more videos coming up. But this is the look, you guys. This is the look. So let's set this with some setting spray. I'm going to use the ColourPop All Star setting spray. It tastes horrible. <laughs> I always have the tendency to open up my mouth too too soon. Too soon. Oh. Oh. Well that tastes that tastes bad. <laughs> okay. Let's let this dry. Glam kitty. Yes. I would love to just hang out with you. <laughs> yes. I, I can do your makeup. But you do amazing stuff. Amazing. Okay. And now I really want another tattoo. <laughs> like, really, really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. Um, but I just got an elephant. Well, I got an elephant a couple months ago. And it was pretty large and pricey. Because, you know, like, the bigger you get them, the more detail they are, the pricier they are. So I was like, okay, this is going to be my only tattoo for the year. Because it was pricey. I don't need another one. But I already need another one. <laughs> okay, so here we are. And this would be the Glam Light Aviva palette the taco palette in action and I used so we used pico de gallo and then we used pollo and then we used Mexican cheese yes yes Kimberly oh uh, yeah it was Kimberly no what was that Kay Kaylee yes Kaylee yes um I do have an elephant tattoo I think it's somewhere on my Instagram um yeah, it was a long, long tattoo. Okay, so I thought just to finish off this live stream, let's swatch a little bit more of the palette just in case you're interested in other shades. So here is Radish, which is a really nice metallic blue. Oh, that's not blue purple. It's definitely a purple, but it has, I think, a blue base. Like, it's super pretty. I really love this. Now, this one, again, is Radish. Really, really pretty. Um, what did we not swatch or use? So here is guacamole. And guac is... <laughs> guac. Guac is a matte. But, like, look at that swatch compared to lime. I really do think I got a dud. Like, sometimes that happens because... And all of these other mattes are fine. Um, so, yeah. So this is guacamole. And then this is lime. Which... I don't know. I'm really not, like if about it because I'm like I've been using this palette for months so <laughs> too late now um but yeah I think it was just it was just done but the overall palette is still amazing um the next one is cilantro and I really love cilantro it is so so pretty that is stunning oh love it love it um okay and then we have salsa verde they kill it with their like metallic shades yes yes okay right there like you guys so pretty so pretty um and okay so we'll do salsa i'll go search yeah let me know what you think the artist was really really good i really liked him he was very kind very patient because my legs kept falling asleep um, okay, so here's um, Salsa Roja. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Guys, I think I got it done. I, it has to be. It has to be because how, how is it that one shade doesn't swatch right out of the whole palette filled with like other mattes, you know? So that's, that's my thought. That's my thought process. Um, but overall, great, great, great palette. Did I already do pickled? I did not do pickled carrots. Okay, so for all y'all pickle lovers out there, here is pickled carrots. <laughs> okay, I need to hop off and go to bed. It was good to see you, Chip. Love you. Oh, good night, Glam Kitty. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you coming. Sweet dreams. And here is pickled carrots. I, this is for you. This is for you. <laughs> pickled carrots I love the shade I will use the shade but I will never eat a pickled carrot I don't care what the doctor says <laughs> never okay so that really completes the swatches there's a little bit of a kick up just because I was kind of dipping a little bit harder for swatching um but yeah so this is the look using the glam light Aviva taco palette and we just did 
an everyday neutral fallish type of look and I realized I can do this. I can do this. So with that being said, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming into my live. I really had fun and just like, I love seeing you guys chatting with each other and just making some connections. So that's great. Hi there. Let's see. Who is this? Shades of Cat. Hi. 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 Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of, kind of completing everything up and we have our next video idea. So stay tuned for the pastel goth look using the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. So thank you, Graham Kitty, and thank you, Sherry, for giving me this idea. This will be so much fun. And yeah, what are you guys up to tonight? Have sweet dreams or great mornings. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah, 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 mwah. I can do this. I can do a neutral look and be okay with it. <laughs> Anya, hi Anya. Thank you for coming. We just did a look. We were doing a kind of glam-ish, everyday, neutral. <laughs> Didi actually was asking for me to use this palette. Um, so yeah, I just was like, let me let me try this. And she was like, please do a neutral look. And I was like, okay, okay, I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. Okay. <laughs> but it came out okay. It came out well. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next live. Hope you guys have a nice day or a great evening. And get some coffee. I'm going to be up for a little bit. So I'm just going to be chilling. So yeah, you can catch me on Instagram or Twitter if you want to chat with me. But that's all I'm going to do. All right. Love yous. Bye.